There are also some other factors at work here, and that is that the companies that are doing the drilling, uh, sometimes people may perceive them as being these innocuous, mechanistic, android entities that don't care about what they're doing. There's something called reputational risk that most American companies worry a lot about. Because they know that reputational risk can damage your, if you're a publicly traded company, your, your stock price. And frankly, things happen to companies who don't care about their reputation. So I think that if you come up with some reasonable rules and a reasonable balance, I think most of the parties will find a way to, to reach a consensus where most people will be satisfied. Um, will everybody be satisfied? No. There are some people who will never want another oil and gas rig drilled anywhere in America. You could put it in the middle of the desert and they are simply opposed to that mm -hmm. for very strict environmental reasons. There are other people who are on the other side who will say, we, if Exxon Mobil wants to drill in downtown Denver, they should be able to do it. Those aren't what I consider to be the, the reasonable majority of people in, in the middle. And I think the majority of people in the middle are, are, are going to find that there's a way to reach a compromise here. Some mistakes have been made along the way. I think one of the mistakes made by some members of the oil and gas industry was a reluctance to share the ingredients and the materials they were injecting into the ground on the, on the basis that somehow that was a trade secret. That was a mistake. There are a lot of corporations that share very important financial information and other information with the federal government, with state governments, on, in many other sectors. And um, had, I think, the industry a long time ago said, State Department of Natural Resources or whatever agency is going to look at this, if we share with you how much sand and chemicals and what we're putting into the land, you've got to guarantee that you won't share that with our competitors. And by the way, if you do, there's a $5 billion penalty you've got to pay me. Then that could have been done. Mm -hmm. But from the beginning, when a number of companies were reluctant to even do that, I think that cast a cloud of suspicion on them, and they could have avoided that. 